when I saw him on TV, I I just I jumped up. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that's the guy. That's him. That's who came into our house. Anita Cabrera says a missing Middletown man, Peter Recchia, broke into her Hampton home on October 3rd, wearing the exact outfit Middletown police described in Recchia Silver Alert issued last Tuesday. I saw his daughter on TV and she's, you know, you could see the pain of, you know, nervousness of not his, her father is missing. It made me a little bit more upset with how the whole situation was dealt with. Cabrera says Rakia was harmless when he broke in at four in the morning. Nonetheless, she called Hamden police. And that's when he started preaching and, and saying, oh, thank God we're saved, we're saved, um, God saved us. But police were able to locate Rakia that night, although they did not take him into custody, something Cabrera doesn't agree with. They knew, they said, oh, you know, he's, they knew that he had some, you know, he wasn't well. So to help him, they should have taken him in that night is how we feel. And it just it just made us so upset that, you know, they didn't do that. Cabrera says police told her they didn't take Rekia into custody because she didn't state she wanted to press charges. So my mom's really sad because she waits for him every day to come. Bunny Rodriguez, Rekia's daughter, says her father does suffer from mental illness and visited the hospital twice during the week he disappeared. This new video shows Rekia walking along Main Street in Durham back on Wednesday, October 2nd. I just feel like my dad is somewhere between Middletown and Durham and I, we need help finding him. And